What's going on everybody? Got some updates I want to share with you and I want to start talking about the Diabolic Parasite. As of right now, I got word that every unit has officially been hand assembled, tested, and shipped to the US. So you should be expecting to get your Diabolic Parasite soon if you're a supporter or a backer. And there's also been some improvements as well. From the founder himself, he said that they made some firmware improvements. The startup time has been optimized, so the key locker becomes active in about five seconds after you plug it in. Now, the founder also told me that they made some improvements with the web UI. It's a lot smoother and snappier now, which is great because it's already pretty fast and responsive. Last thing I want to share with you guys is that if you missed out on the pre-orders, if you weren't able to become a backer and support the campaign, you don't have to wait until after all the devices get shipped out and for people to receive them. You can actually order a Diabolic Parasite right now. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Now let's talk about Zero Trace OSINT. They have made some really strong improvements on their user experience side. The interface has been cleaned up. The drop downs are easier to navigate. Everything is organized into clear sections, so it is much more beginner friendly. They also added a demo mode. This matters because if you're learning and you don't want to accidentally search something you're not supposed to, the demo feature lets you explore the tool in a safe environment. This is great for training and it's also great for content creators who want to teach without risking anything illegal. You can demonstrate the workflow and show how the tool behaves while staying safe and responsive. I also want to mention that this was a very successful launch. Zero Trace is mostly known for their physical devices, but this is their first digital product. It has already gotten a lot of attention and it has helped teach a lot of people in the community. I want to say great job to Zero Trace and their team on this deployment. I look forward to seeing future improvements as well as future updates. Also, the founder was nice enough to write a detailed summary for each tab so you understand what it does. I'm going to be posting that either in the Discord or in the community drive somewhere. So this way you have a nice little cheat sheet explaining what the tools actually do here. And as I learn more about it and when I feel more comfortable and I learn how to use it in a safe way, I'll make some videos demonstrating this as well. I do have a brief overview video. I'll leave that link in the description. I will also leave the product link in the description. So we haven't really heard too much about the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager, but I do want to go over that they did pick some winners. They had over 300 submissions when it came to the ringtone contest, and they picked about five of the top ringtones that they liked. Um, they're also going to be putting all the other responses in a repository later on once they get closer to launch. Congratulations to all the winners. Yeah, I do want to briefly talk about High Boy a little bit. So one thing I can tell you guys is that I have confirmation that I will be doing an interview with the founder sometime this week, and I hopefully will have that edited up by next week. I'll keep you guys posted with that. High Boy originally got rejected on Kickstarter. They resubmitted all their stuff. It should go through this time. They're looking mid-November for the actual launch. And I'm thinking about doing like a launch party. So maybe do like a live stream when the thing actually goes live and do some kind of like fun show. I'll let you guys know once I figure it out. All right, one more update before we end this video. I was finishing up the editing and then InfiShark Tech responded back to my uh, check-in post. I just want to share with you what they said to me. Basically, they're going to be shipping around 300, 400 units mid next week. They also mentioned they're running into some roll bumps with a warehouse, but they're working through it. Also, pre-order shipments should be shipped out by the end of November. That's it for this video. Just want to go over some things going on in the community as well as just some gadget updates. The Diabot Parasite is really big, so that was really important to get through in this video. I'll let you guys know, hey, they're two months ahead of schedule and they're already shipped out their devices to their backers. You normally see two months behind or something like that. You never really see two months ahead of time. So it's really awesome that this is happening the way it's happening. Let me know what you guys think about this video style. If you want to support the channel, consider being a channel member. If you use Proton, consider using my affiliate link. It really does help out if you guys use that. But most of all, guys, do me a favor and remember, safety is an illusion.